Hello there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. Name of our company is NationwideDentalPracticeBrokers.com. And I'm a dentist myself. I've been doing this for 25 years as a dentist and 13 years as a dental practice broker. So today's topic is how much time should a seller spend showing a dental office on the first visit of a buyer? How much time should you allocate? Well, we've come up with certain averages. We've been doing this for a while, and we're going to talk about that. As you know, we're in 28 uh, states now. We just are in Ohio. I just returned from Texas, picked up seven offices for there for sale. Plus, I'm going to uh, North Carolina next week. I'm excited about that. Got a little weather here, gray, cold, wet. I'm dying to get out of New Jersey. Um, so... I'm going to be, uh, excuse me here, I'm driving. This guy's just hanging out. I see his flat tire. What is this guy doing? Be very safe on the road. you got to be careful out there. Anyway, um, so we're going to North Carolina. We've got a great trip going up. Got four practices to see. I am looking forward to the warm weather. And uh, should be fun. So everything you're about to hear today is, a it's not legal or business advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. It's our opinions. Okay? Mind that. Now, our phone number is 201 963 Our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. We sell dental practices nationwide. 201 963 is our number. Website dentalpracticeguide.com or uh, nationwide dental practice. Just mentioning that again to you in case you missed it just before. So now, if you're thinking about selling to a big DSO because your practice is grossing over a million, you have five plus operatories, let us know because often they will pay our commission. And we are not uh, working for any DSOs. We are independent. We don't have strategic partners. Forget that. We change every year who we pick and choose the best uh, DSOs we think for you. Right now we have some great ones. Uh, we actually have one that's paying 90% down payment in the Northeast. So we can be, have the ability to switch and move and change uh, who we think the best are. All right? So anyway, uh, call us. Now we'll also, if you work with us, I'll often get your legal fees reimbursed at successful closing based on certain criteria. We've done that often, and I think that uh, takes some of your overhead away, and we're willing to help you. So how long should you take when you're showing a dental office and a buyer comes? Because I've had buyers, I've had sellers that sit there for two hours, two and a half hours. It's like, that's kind of like ridiculous. But doing this long enough that I can say for sure now, it's a minimum of 40 minutes 40 minutes, what you can get accomplished in 40 minutes is just, it's very rewarding for the buyer, for the seller to exchange all this information and the time it takes to tell your story, for the buyer to ask the questions in, in a reasonable amount of time, you need at least 40 minutes. And we time things often that 40, 45 minutes in and out. If they're interested, if that buyer is interested. Now, mind you, the buyer has already received all the financial information. Their accountants have already uh, reviewed everything. Um, they know what they're getting into, which happens with most buyers now. They look at all your financials before they come see the seller. So they at least have those expectations. They can have their questions ahead of time, whatever. And... Um, it should uh, answer most of their questions. Seeing the office and meeting the two doctors, that's so important to meet each other face to face. Even though the decision is office made by cash flow, it is, um, uh, it's made by cash flow decision. It's often um, a gut feeling too. You gotta feel good about it. You gotta check the equipment out, the location and such. But 40 minutes to an hour is about the time frame. Once you go over an hour, who knows? You don't know if this buyer is going to buy anyway. So stick in that 40 minutes to 45 to 50 and move it out. And then uh, 
it should be sufficient time. If the buyer's interested, believe me, 48 hours later, usually, I don't know why 48 hours, but 48 hours is usually the time period on which they'll get back to you. On average, it's not always 100%, but 48 hours, they will get back to you. So 40 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, cut it off in an hour. Don't waste your time because it may not go through anyway. And then you work it from there. If the buyer wants it, he's going to call you despite what time you spent with them. All right. Thank you for listening today. We have a bunch of new information coming in. Remember, we're going to North Carolina next week. Should have some information for you there. We just got from Texas. We'll be listing all those practices. So listen to these YouTubes and you'll get picked up. If you're a buyer and you want the update of the new practices for sale, remember we publish that every four to six weeks. If you're on our list um, and you signed a non-disclosure and get pre-approved for a bank loan, which I think is important, uh, we will be automatically send you that list. So that's going to be coming up. We have some great topics coming up. Listen to the North Carolina deals. Um, it's exciting. It's very exciting for us. We hope it's as exciting for you and as rewarding. Having a great time. Dr. Gary going shopping now. All right.